Hey guys, Aaron here for the love of tech and welcome back to the channel. And today I want to explore with you being part of Android, what it means to me and some tips and tricks that I like to do to make my Android phone, my Android phone right out the box. More importantly, my OnePlus 8 Pro. Before we get into it, and I wanna show you where the screen record button is. Now, I wanna go ahead and give a thumbs up to OnePlus because they included a screen record feature natively, organically, built into the user interface. So pull your notification shade down and then take it one more step and pull one more time, swipe to the left to get to the right, and you will see a screen record button. Hit that button. Just because you hit the button, it does not activate screen record. And I want you to know that. You have to hit the little red button to actually make it work. Unless you can pull down and you can see the timer taken away, you're not recording. I may have done this whole video and I'm shooting it a second time because I had discovered that tip and trick just for you. You're welcome. Just do a nice little long press anywhere on the screen and hit home page settings. So right here, you can go ahead and you can take a look at your launcher layout, which is your home screen in your drawer. You can choose to have just a home screen, which means all of your apps will be accessible on the home screen. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Let's hit the check box. It's applying that setting. Now all of my icons I've ever installed are now available right there. And I absolutely hate that setting. Go back over to launcher layout and go back to home screen, hit the check box. It's gonna apply the settings. And now I only have these few screens of icons, which is kind of how I like to keep my stuff. Minimal, simplistic, only what I need on my home screen. The next thing we're gonna do is take a look at the icon pack. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the button there. We're rocking the oxygen pack. Now we can go ahead and hit the hydrogen and you can actually see the icons change a preview for you. Here I installed another pack. This is the crayon version, which looks kind of fun, childish, kind of kiddish. Now over here is the pixel pack. Now there's all sorts of different versions of this out there. And you can see if you look at the camera and when you hit the button, you see the camera changes on all of them. So I am going to do the pixel pack. So my phone is going to resemble more of the pixel icons because that's what I like. So I'm gonna hit the check box. There we go. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and look at the refresh rate. Now, this phone ships with the ability to have 120 refresh rate. It's 120 hertz refresh rate, which means you're supposed to get a really smooth look and feel to your device. Like it's just supposed to be like buttery smooth all over the place. And I can't tell you, there is a difference. You don't know what you're missing until you know what you're missing. If you wanna go ahead and adjust the settings for this, just come over here, pull down your notification shade, hit your settings button, and just type in 120 at the top right there, and it comes right up. Now, why would you want to downscale or change the refresh rate? If you're going to be somewhere for an extended period of time, and you know that you're not gonna have access to a charger or a battery, then it might be worth downscaling the refresh rate, saving some of that battery power for other stuff, or maybe just giving you a little bit of cushion, a little bit of longevity in your day so you feel a little bit safer. But for the sake of this video, we're gonna keep it at 120. The other thing I wanna show you, again, down to the notification shade, hit the settings button, and come right over to customizations. So here, you're gonna get to do all sorts of stuff. You can choose your wallpaper, your clock style, you can change your fingerprint animation. I think that the ripple and the stripe are probably the best looking. The lights on the side of your phone, the screen has kind of like that waterfall edge to edge infinity display like Samsung does. You can choose from blue, red, gold, purple. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on purple. We're gonna hit that checkbox. Now, we're also gonna go ahead and take a look at some accent colors. This one is one of my favorite features because it can change the complete look and feel of my device with just one setting. Come over here, you can see we can do a blue, we can do a green, kind of like a Tiffany's blue, if you will. You know what I mean? For the sake of this video, we're gonna go ahead and go from red to blue to kind of just show you that the whole look and feel of the phone changes just by making this tiny little setting change. There you go. This is where you get the option of having colorful, which is like 
a light mode with some color added to it. You can do straight light mode, or you can do the one I prefer, which is dark mode. I like dark mode because I have astigmatism. So I find myself when I don't have my glasses on, I have to shut an eye to be able to read. If I'm in bed, if I'm sitting in my game room playing Xbox, this way the bright light isn't blinding in my one eye because I gotta have my glasses on for my astigmatism to not bother me. So I like dark mode more than anything. Come over here and you can go to system icons. Those are the ones that you pull down that are actually not part of the icon pack. You can choose to keep them round, square, teardrop, or a round rectangle, which I feel is like a fusion between all of them kind of put together. I prefer to keep mine round, but we're gonna go ahead and change it to square for the sake of the video so you can actually see the difference. So before we had round icons there and now we have square. We're gonna come back here and now we're gonna change to teardrop and we're gonna see what that looks like. So those are some teardrops. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave my system icons on the square because that's something new for me. It's something a little bit different. I usually keep mine round. So I'm just trying to explore and experience the full power of Android here, which is what I want you to do. I want you to dive into your settings, go into your customizations, make this device yours. If you're coming from Apple, iOS, well, you didn't really get an option to do a lot of this stuff. You had somebody who never met you before determine how your phone was going to look and feel. No one even asked you. Well, here with the OnePlus 8 Pro, you can see for yourself. There is something better. There's something wonderful, something magnificent, something phenomenal about picking up your smartphone that you purchased and making it yours. Thanks Nomadic Gear for supporting the channel. I'm kind of known for spending a ridiculous amount of money on luggage and high-end backpacks. Then I came across Nomadic Bags and I absolutely fell in love with the Nomadic Backpack and now I'm in love with the Nomadic Carry-On Pro. This is a two bag in one type of deal and it will not disappoint you. If you're in the market for some new luggage, a messenger bag, or a backpack that's big enough to take on a trip and still carry on the plane, then look no further. Take a moment and check them out. Link is in the description. Don't forget to click on the red sale link at the top of the page. You'll thank me later. Back to the video. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get to know your camera. Here's a little guy and we're going to do super macro. A little picture there. Let's get our little Android guy there. Let's do super, all right. Now at the top here, you have the option of using your 12 megapixel lens or your 48 megapixel lens. Couple things to be mindful of. 48 megapixels, you're not getting no zoom. This, this ain't no Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. You're not getting no zoom. You are getting a wide angle. So this is the 48 megapixel is a wide angle camera. And here is the difference between regular. Okay, there we go. Getting everything in the camera and now wide angle. So we're gonna take a little snappy snap of the picture there. So that's it with the 48 megapixel. Let's go ahead and move over to our portrait. But this is one of the things that I'm not too wild about when it comes to OnePlus. You have to pull it back until it actually sees this depth effect activated. So now I can take the picture. Now we can turn it around and we can do a selfie portrait, which is good. So let's go ahead and get one of those in there. There we go. So we got a little selfie portrait. Now night mode. So something to take note. You don't have a forward or a selfie cam night mode option. So we wouldn't know that unless we took the time to actually dig in and explore our camera a little bit. There is a night mode on the forward facing camera. So let's go ahead and turn this off. We've got some light source there. So we should get a pretty decent photo. Let me click on that. Capturing optimized. We got our photo. Didn't really do much, probably because the light isn't completely dark. And then you have the pro mode, which again is the forward facing camera. You have a couple options of shooting in JPEG or you can shoot in RAW. RAW is going to give you the most post production editing capabilities. It's also going to take up the most 
save data or memory on your actual device. And don't forget, this device does not have expandable storage. So what you got is what you got. So you're gonna wanna make sure you either have your Google Photos or a Dropbox type sync set up. So that way you're saving all your pictures. Guys, if you liked the video today, like, comment, subscribe, show me some love. Tell me, what do you like about the OnePlus 8 Pro? When you get a new device, what is your go-to setting to make it yours. Let me know your tips and tricks. Tell me what you think, feel. And for the love of tech, thanks for watching. Until next time, namaste.